And we're back for the final video for the 2024 Deformed and Cartoon Group build. Uh, we got the uh, Snapdragon's uh, Willy Fast finished up. Uh, got it finished up sometime towards the middle of the week. Uh, pretty neat little kit. Um, had, had a lot of fun doing it. Um, very simple. But uh, sometimes simple is, uh, is just fine. And, you know, these... Pretty neat, pretty neat little kit though. I, I like it. I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, comes molded in blue, uh, midnight blue is uh, the color on it. And it says that there's uh, six different flavors. Now these are pretty neat little kits. I got, uh, I got six of them, and I actually did find in my stash. I do have the, uh, the Boss Austin, and I didn't even know I had it. And that 55 Chevy, that would be pretty cool, that bad boy. But uh, anyhow, uh, the wheelies, you know, I said it was molded in blue. Um, it does got a couple of mold lines in the front, and then there's one kind of, you know, I don't know how well you'll see it, but right there. But, you know, I guess if you're really uh, OCD, you know, you, you could uh, sand it down and, you know, remove the mold lines and repaint it. But you know what? It wasn't bothering me, so I just uh, leave it alone. Uh, just a little uh, simple details. Uh, you see, we got the uh, got the blower belt. We got that painted. Got the door handle. I used um, I used this uh, chrome pen. That's what I used uh, for all the chrome work. I like this pen a lot better than the uh, the Molotov, and I got this on Amazon. It's the Ultra Fine, and it comes. Uh, there was two of them in a pack for I think like eleven bucks or twelve bucks. Uh, both of them Ultra Fine uh, points, and I've had these for for a little while now, and uh, they work pretty good and uh, seems to seems to last a lot longer than the Molotov. But that's what I use for uh, all the detail work, you know, on the grill and the headlights. Got the tail lights, and even my. Um, I tried to. I, I used the. Uh, the Tamiya was a clear red, and it kind of turns like a purple, but still it looks pretty cool. Um, the parachute, I just used a. Um, I used this uh, folk art gunmetal. Uh, just dry brushed uh, over over the uh, black plastic, and then for the the base, it's kind of hard to see, but I also used um, well first I used first I used here it was a antique nickel, just a light uh, dry brushing of that. And I sealed it, and then I went over it with the uh, the gunmetal, just to kind of give it a little uh, little highlights. And the underneath, you can see I did the engine and transmission, uh, just in a gold and a aluminum, and the headers and the uh, also the traction bars are Revell spray chrome. Uh, overall, nice little kit. Uh, pretty fun build, and I want to thank uh, Tommy and Papa Dan for uh, hosting it, and I'll definitely be looking for it for next year. All right, guys, um, I think I'm going to, I got a couple of other little projects here I'm going to finish up, uh, a couple older builds, and then um, I got a, a new project I'm going to get started here, uh, it's going to be a Halloween build. I gotta get a couple. Gotta get some more paint for it, and uh, then I'll I'll get a video for that. But that's that's what's coming up next. All right, guys. Till next time. Talk to you later.